spiritual realities are are twofold in their operation number one realities as from the standpoint of the christ it is always finished because god does not work with time his realm is not even eternity eternity is time without end god's realm is light god's realm is now there is no tomorrow there is no later in god's realm everything is now now are we together now but in executing the will of god the men that receive that word from god his prophetic speakings are limited by time and there is a reason why god put us in time many reasons um, there's no time to do that teaching if there were no time there would not be a possibility for mercy and forgiveness because god tied his mercy to time the bible says they are new every morning are we together now <laughs> it's the reason why when the beings in the realm of the spirit default there is no forgiveness there is judgment straight up and they are bound in everlasting chains so the saints have an advantage living in time are we together now and so that 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 itself already shows us that realities that are finished from god's realm must have a technology of finding expression within our domain this is where the problem is for many believers because on one side we acknowledge god does not speak to men like he's speaking to men he speaks to men like he's talking to himself so god will talk to you as though the house were built god talks to you as if your children are already saved god talks to you as if the prosperity is already there because he's not lying it is his reality he can't pretend it are we together there's no tomorrow there's no later so when god says i will bless you he's downgrading himself just for your understanding in his realm there is no later are you getting the point now but now you come down to the realm of man you have to understand the principles of transferring this spiritual reality to become your experience if you lack this spiritual intelligence you will continue to confess you will continue to believe that is profitable but your life may never capture that experience are we together i give you an instance the bible says from the foundations of the earth the lamb was slain are we together now but jesus had to come in the flesh when he came to the earth he came as the word the logos of god who now became flesh are we together walked for 30 years learned the law became matured went to the cross and paid the price of sin in detail your sin was not casted by a word he went through a process that made his speaking become a reality as powerful as god was and is he did not cast sin out of man he had to go through the protocol that will make the remission of sin an experience are we together the bible says no inhabitant in zion shall say i am sick but then he continues to release graces upon people so that they will actualize that experience someone may be respectfully speaking maybe on a wheelchair or holding a crutch now in god's mind that is an anomaly for instance but it does not stop the fact that that is the person's experience here and now so he grants us access to his word and his spirit to superimpose the realities as seen from his realm this is what it means in the lord's prayer let it be done in earth as it is in heaven it's already a reality there but you must sustain an intelligence to make it true here and now so all that we teach i'm saying this because it's important to understand the context of communications like this they are not an attempt to sabotage the finished work of god of christ they are an attempt to partner with the holy spirit in the manifestation of those truths that have been finished forever oh lord your word is settled not on earth in heaven it's settled in heaven it will take this is why he gave us the holy spirit we would not need the holy spirit if there were no need to engage these truths to make it true in our lives are we together